This is Nick Wagner with a Team RCIA book review. The book I'd like to discuss today is Discerning Disciples by Donna Steffen. Donna is perhaps the, uh, the leading expert in the nation on how to integrate the discernment process with the catechumenate process. And in her book, Discerning Disciples, she makes a few points that I want to cover here that I think are particularly important for folks who are in the catechumenate process. First, she says that discernment is an integral part of discipleship. And what she means by that is, by our baptism, by, by our gospel lifestyle, we're called to a lifestyle of discernment. It's not just something we do once in a while in the RCIA process. It's an ongoing part of our Christian way of life. And she says another thing that I think is kind of insightful, and that is that discernment is different than decision-making. We're used to sort of having a, a yes/no kind of proposition before us and trying to uh, trying to decide what the best option is, and that is a, a part of the discernment process, but it's not the totality of it. Discernment is deeper and and more involved in understanding what God's will is. She says that discernment is listening for God's way. And in listening for God's way, one point that she makes is that our image of God is very important. So, for example, if, you, if we have an image of God that's kind of harsh and judgmental, our discernment process will be colored by that. If our image of God is gracious and merciful and loving, we'll have a different kind of discernment process. And so it's important to pay attention to what's the image of God that's operating within us. And then this next point I think is, is very important because I, I fall subject to this. I sometimes think that God's will is out there somewhere and my job is to go on this kind of treasure hunt to discover what it is. And, and the really central key idea that Donna points out is that God's will is not external to us, but God's will is within our hearts. It's part of us. It's, it's part of us being made in the image of God. It's part of the way we walk in the Christian lifestyle every day. And so the discernment process isn't looking outward, trying to find God's will out there somewhere, but it's looking inward and listening to that inner voice, listening to the call of God's Spirit within our very hearts. Her book is divided into several chapters uh, that deal with discernment during the pre-catechumenate process, during the catechumenate process, during the period of purification and enlightenment, and during the period of mystagogy and beyond. She has a chapter that deals with discerning for baptized candidates and another chapter on discerning with children. And then at, at the very end of the book, I think this might be the, the most valuable part of the book, she has five outlines five uh, outlines for discernment interviews that you would do with the seekers or the in, uh, inquirers, the, the catechumens or the candidates throughout the various stages of the process. And the very final appendix is a training process of how to use her book in a training process for your RCI team. So the name of the book is Discerning Disciples, Listening for God's Voice in Christian Initiation. The author is Donna Steffen. It's, it's a, an important book that every catechumenate member should have, every catechumenate team member should have on their bookshelf. My name is Nick Wagner. This has been a Team RCA book review. I want to thank you for all your dedication and the work that you do in initiation ministry. God bless.